Now, it's great to be back, great to be back, and I just want to say another thing, I just want to say, uh, Les Battersby, if you are watching, we still have that clip, and uh, <laughs> its, it's price is going up. <laughs> so call when you can. But uh, what an exciting week it's been, hmm? It was the Golden Globe Awards, and low-cut dresses were all a rage. I counted 31 tits. Hmm. <laughs> 15 cleavages and Phil Collins. <laughs> they gave him a prize. Anyway, it's all just so glamorous. <laughs> Everyone up, please. There you go. Go on. You can do it. Stay standing. Stay standing. If you've ever embarrassed yourself at a formal occasion. <laughs> Ooh, quite a few. I've got this lady here. Hello. Now, what's your name? My name's Estella. Estella. Yes. Mine's a pint. <laughs> you must get so bored of that. I'm sorry. That was cruel and, and pointless, yeah. Estella. I'm tempted to do it again, but I won't. <laughs> Estella, what formal occasion were you attending? Um, Christmas Day. I went to my boyfriend's house for Christmas dinner, and there was, like, the grandparents, uncle and aunts, like, the whole family yeah, sort sitting of family there. Yeah. Yes. And I was on my period at the time, and I had to change my towel. So Could you hold this? <laughs> <laughs> Go on! <laughs> oh, Estella. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I understand. I understand. It's a seasonal thing. It can land at Christmas. <laughs> so anyway... It does work like that. <laughs> so anyway, yes, Estella. OK, so I go to the toilet and do my thing, and um, there was no bin in there. So <laughs> Would you stop groaning? <laughs> it's bad enough. I'm trying to keep my eyes open. <laughs> Estella, sorry. So I had to, yeah, improvise with the... Oh, no, sorry, the, there was no bin? There's no bin at all. No, no bin at all. So I panicked. I didn't know what to do, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I just got some toilet roll and I wrapped it up, you know, good thinking. <gasps> and I just Brilliant. put it in my pocket because I didn't have a bag on. <laughs> it gets worse, I tell you. Ladies seem to be enjoying this story more than men. <laughs> All right, so you put it in your pocket because you didn't have a bag. Yeah. Um, come to the end of the day, when I had to say goodbye to everyone, fine, brilliant, I thought, phew. Went to get my coat, but then the family dog decides to jump up on me. <laughs> <laughs> Not sit out on the floor. <laughs> Grips hold of the toilet paper. Runs to the kitchen. <laughs> Actually unravels, <laughs> reaches its peak and flings off into the front room and lands on the grandma's lap. <laughs> oh, Estella. <laughs> so disgusting, and yet by the end, even Betty was clapping. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. You could have been that granny, Betty. <laughs> Oh, right, now, just very quickly, could everyone stand up? One last time. This is a very, very quick one. Stay standing. Stay standing if you're wearing combat trousers. That's all I'm, all I'm interested in. <laughs> I'll just go to this band here. <laughs> now, look. There's combat and then there's combat. Look at this. It's a zip and pocket fiesta, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> God, if anyone's got heavy things they don't want to carry home, it'll all fit in his pants. <laughs> What, what's, in, what's in there? Okay, it's 
start with this one. Oh, we're starting with this one. Fair enough. What's your name, by the way? It's John. John. Okay. A nice mobile, mobile phone. phone. Lovely sort of plasma. Gorgeous. Okay. Right down there. That's his mobile phone pocket, everyone. Moisturized. Oh, this is. <laughs> oh. So nice. With cocoa butter. <laughs> and have you anything on the other side? Very embarrassing. <laughs> no, 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 no. This was very embarrassing. <laughs> okay, I believe you. Are you ready? You've got your. <laughs> Throw it away. <laughs> Why have you still got them? You can't wear them, can you? But sometimes you put them on and you feel a little sexy, don't you? <laughs> you, you do, don't you? And oh, moisturizer in the other pockets. There you go. <laughs> well done to all the glamorous people. Very good. go by, I will never forget that time during the great guest introduction when a lady walked into our lives and at once we knew the show would never be the same again. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the mother of all Waltons, Miss Michael Learned! She's here! <laughs> going to wear an apron, you know, and I asked the wardrobe people to look for one, and they came up with this, and I went like that, and my husband said, bring it home. <laughs> <laughs> so, may I have it? Of course you Thank can. Thank you so much. Yeah. Before I say another thing, you look fantastic, because people... Oh, you're so kind. <laughs> well, no, it's true, because people expect you to be ancient. They do. They do expect me to be a, in my 80s, and I am not. No, because you were really young. Quite. You were really young when you got... got the... I was 30. I, I think I just turned 31. Yeah. Were you thrilled to get the part? Oh, I was, I was just so excited. And they told me I'd be making a certain amount of money a week, and I thought I will never be able to spend this much money in my, all my life. <laughs> I learned very quickly, <laughs> <laughs> as my husband will tell you. <laughs> and, and how long does that last, then, the thrill of being in a, in a big hit series? About a day. <laughs> as soon as you get your bank account, kind of, you know. I was never grateful for it. I was such a jerk. I, I really was. <laughs> I had no idea how lucky I was. And the people were so fabulous and everything was so great. But I wasn't grateful. I am now. I'm uh, truly. I am. <laughs> Every day I thank God. I say thank you, God. But so were you a, like were you a difficult Mrs. Walton actress? Oh no, here comes Mrs. Walton. Well, um, <laughs> there was one day when um, you know they have these buzzers. Do you have buzzers here that when when they're shooting outside, the buzzers go eh. Oh, to let people know. Just like yes. that, actually. Yeah, okay. so, so it was right outside my dressing room, and I was sort of being very spiritual at the time, and I was trying to teach myself how to meditate. So <laughs> I was trying to meditate, and this buzzer kept going off. So I did all the proper things. I went to the uh, assistant director, and I said, could you move the buzzer? And nothing happened. So then I went somewhere else. Could you move the buzzer? And it didn't happen. And you know when you're meditating, you're very vulnerable, and this thing goes, eh, and you just go through the roof. And finally... It went on and on and on, and finally, I just went outside, and there happened to be this iron um, pipe lying on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> and I picked it up, <laughs> and the tour bus, the go tour bus with all these people, was driving <laughs> there's Olivia Walton. <laughs> <laughs> I was so embarrassed. It was God. awful. Because again, we have a lot of people in that in the chair, and people have made dolls of them. And I said, "Oh no!" Well, you might have been a bit annoyed and embarrassed when you saw yours. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> it is one of the poorer You've likeness. Got to be me. It's got one of the poorer likenesses we've seen in the doll department. Let me see. 
Is that me? No, oh, it's a it man is. in drag. <laughs> It looks it nothing like It's a Walton doll, isn't it? It is an actual Walton doll. It. it didn't sell. <laughs> May I see it? It can, yeah. It's really disgusting. <laughs> then, there you are. You're on, on the set. You're working out. You've got this job. It's fantastic. But it must have been... It was so nice to watch, but it must have been kind of like, oh, walking in and just all those... It would seem like thousands of children running through that living room. Well, there were a lot of children. And we had these dinner scenes, you know, and so we'd all be sitting around the table and, and it, it all looked very cozy and marvelous, but it would take forever to shoot. And usually I had wonderful, intense lines like, pass the salt, please, or um, <laughs> more coffee, John. That was a good one. That, that, <gasps> oh, 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 say that again. Coffee. That was very good. <laughs> that brought us back, didn't it? <laughs> oh, say more coffee. Oh, do. More coffee, John. More coffee, John. <laughs> Just, just for variety, they'd say more coffee, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but for for an actor, someone who's interested you know, in clothes and all that sort of stuff, I mean, the, your costumes. I, I got a new apron every uh, every. They'd come in and they'd say, oh, "We have two new aprons for you today." <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because you were saying you were saying that, and then I found I found this this photograph. This is you on your last day, and just. Look at Michael's expression. I was crying. As, no, no, you're not crying in this one. Oh, well, what this, is where, this is where the costume department are giving you? you all your clothes when you're leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Michael pretending to be pleased. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> all this for me? <laughs> <laughs> now, listen, the, the weird thing is we try, we try to find some sort of, you know, sexy, funny thing to do with... The Waltons on the, on the internet. Actually, Walton's fans are really, they're sweet. They are. They, they just, really are. Yeah. The only thing kind of odd was when we tapped in John Boy in, uh -huh. into the computer. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know? No, no. no. They're just gave it one beyond. We just got a lot of sites of, of boys in Johns, really. <laughs> <laughs> but we thought the chances of getting George Michael on the phone this time on a Friday were slim. <laughs> So, so what we did is we did that Jackson's Hole and all, there's just a lot of odd place names in, in the States. Okay. And uh, so we just thought we'd, we'd explore some of them because there is a site and what it is, it's places you wouldn't want to live. Okay. <laughs> Bangladesh and, is one. Oh, no, no, yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's terrible place names you wouldn't want to live. Oh, oh. Not just horrible places. Oh. <laughs> For instance, not many people would like to live in Fanny Bay. <laughs> Maybe a Stella. Uh, <laughs> Dong Rack in Thailand. <laughs> Dear. I've been to Thai Rack in Dong Land. <laughs> oh, poor people of Zimbabwe living in Wanky. <laughs> um, what, else have we, what else have we got? There's a bastard in Norway. <laughs> a turdo in Romania. <laughs> you know, in Italy, I do like this. There's a place called Arsoli. But it's part of the Lazio province. <laughs> so it's Lazio Arsoli. Uh, uh, but Mina, where we're interested in is uh, America. And there's a, what's that? That's a dildo in Canada. <laughs> uh, what's that? Oh, Piss Piss River. No. Intercourse. There is a place called Intercourse in Pennsylvania, USA. Quickly followed by Climax, Colorado. <laughs> But Sounds I'm saying like the oddest one. The, I know, <laughs> yes. Mmm. Climax. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Population growing. <laughs> <laughs> but the, 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 the sweetest one we found was this one. It's a place in Arizona called <laughs> Red Beaver oh, Creek. Please. Now. So we looked, we looked this up. Arizona tourist thing, right? All these places. There's Oak Creek and Upper Verde River and Wet Beaver Creek. And there's a tourist office in Wet Beaver Creek. So, um, I... I have long wondered what the attractions of Wet Beaver Creek are. <laughs> so, uh, we thought we'd ring the nice tourist Sounds office. Sounds good. Uh, yes. Have you, isn't that so No, sweet? but I heard it. Isn't that so cute? I, yes. Oh. Sickening, really, isn't it? But anyway. <laughs> Where do you talk?
It was a bit of a design flaw. Little, little <laughs> hello, Cedar Creek Tourist Office. Can I help you? Oh, hello. Uh, my name is Graham Norton. I'm I'm calling from uh, a television show in mm -hmm. Britain. In in I was going to say Britain in England, but it's just <laughs> it's just Britain. And um, we were looking at the at the, the whole that whole area of of, of Arizona, and I just wondered, uh, you know. What, what the attractions I I in Wet Beaver are. Oh, okay. Um, well, have you been to this area before, then? I I've never visited Wet Beaver myself. <laughs> um, friends of mine have, and, and <laughs> they say it's fantastic. Okay. Well, I'm pleased to hear that. We do have a lot of return customers here, too. <laughs> but, now, are you planning a trip soon? I'm not, I'm not sure. What, what's the best season for wet beaver? Well, okay, now the reason is, the reason I'm telling you this is wet beaver receives plenty of snow melt and it discolors quickly. So, um, you can get shut out <laughs> of many March trips. You'd love it, wouldn't you, Estella? What you'd have to do is you're going to have to call back here at the office, okay? Because you can usually start fishing wet beaver by mid to late April. <laughs> Will you be coming in um, from Phoenix, sir? I have to ask you, sorry, I missed your name when I called up. It's Mary. Sorry? Mary. Mary. Mary, I have to ask you, do many people who visit your area comment on the name Wet Beaver? Um, no. There's a lot of, uh, well, there's a lot of areas that are very similar. We have the Verde Valley here. Um, we also have Beaver Pass. <laughs> It's 100 miles north of Phoenix. Are you going to be coming into Phoenix? I, I don't know if I'm coming into Wet Beaver yet. <laughs> well, listen, I'm not sure if I'll be visiting Wet Beaver this year. But okay. uh, thank you so much for your information. Well, if you do decide to come, you know, we'll, we, we'd love to have you, so... <laughs> thank you so much, Mary. Bye-bye! <laughs> Mary... Mary is living in double entendre hell, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> that's it, that's it. Uh, join me and lovely Michael in part two. Uh, we'll be looking at some kinky calendars and bringing out the animal in my lovely second guest. See you after the break. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>